a friend of mine put down a challenge. Name a software stack where you can build a RESTful service that interacts with the database and push it to the cloud in five minutes or less. So let's do that. Here we have a stopwatch. Let's kick it off. Okay, the first thing we're going to go to is start.spring.io. This is where you can just pick items off a checklist and have it generate a Spring Boot application. Now, after downloading it, unpack it. In this case, it's a Maven project. I'm going to import it into my IDE here. Load it up. Pick Java 7. All right, this is a Spring Boot app with Spring Data Rest. All we need to do is, first of all, add an in-memory database. In this case, we're going to use H2. Next, we need to define our domain. Let's create an employee object. We'll make it pretty simple. We're going to use Spring Data JPA to define it. So we have an entity. Now let's create the ID. We'll annotate it at ID and at generated value. Then let's create a first name, a last name, and a title. That should be good elements for a employee. Okay, we'll add our getters and setters. The other piece that we have to have is we need a repository. So we're going to create one for the employee repository. And it's just an interface, but we're going to extend Spring Data Commons CRUD repository. And we're going to plug in the type, the domain object type, which is employee, and the ID type, which is along. And that's all we need to define it. Now for extra bonus, we're going to, let's preload it with some data. In this case, we'll create a post construct method. Uh, let's go create one employee. Wait a minute, first I want to auto wire a copy of the employee repository after it gets created. Okay, now let's finish uh, creating an employee here. Okay, let's see, first name, if I can type. All right, last name. There we go, Bilbo Baggins, and give him a job title, Thief. Now let's store it in our auto wired repository here. That should do the trick there. Let's go ahead and use Maven to uh, package it up as a jar file. What do we got? We're about two and a half minutes into our challenge here. Now what Spring Boot does is it's going to assemble a runnable jar file. But what we can take that jar file do is we can actually push it to Pivotal Web Services with the CFCLI command. Now this probably is the longest part of the whole demo. As you can see it's creating an address there. I'm going to grab a copy of it to be able to paste into the browser. So this is it's going to be its public facing address when it's all done. Right now it's it's uploading our jar file to the remote site. Okay, once it's there, it's going to try to start the app and it's going to detect that something's missing. In this case, it's going to sniff the jar file and determine that it's a uh, a Spring application, so it's going to link it to the Java build packet. In this case, it's using Java 8. Uh, so, let it do some more configuration. Okay, I think it's almost done. Okay, now it's actually going to try to start it. In this case, we only have one instance to find. Uh, so it shouldn't take too long to start up. There's not a lot to it. Okay, app started. Let's go back to our browser and plug in that address. Now that we can see it, at run app in five minutes.cfapps.io. There, as I'm clicking through it, you know, we see that we've navigated to uh, our entity that we loaded up, and it has a, a nice HAL formatted document. And look, we were able to finish it in 4 minutes and 22 seconds. We integrated it with the backend database and got it successfully deployed to the cloud.